His new British sounds are redefining the global music scene. He's the most popular collaborator in pop, and this naughty boy is fast becoming music's new messiah. International superstars from the music world like One Direction and Mary J Blige are making a beeline for this unassuming studio in Leafy Ealing, West London to work with a young British music producer that you may not have heard of. Welcome to the world of Naughty Boy. When we're together, we're home. It's actually my first proper studio where I could record but I started in my mum and dad's shed. Thanks mum and dad. And um, I was studying for a degree in 2005 but I dropped out so I went on a game show. It's called Deal or No Deal. Shah, sure. afternoon. Off. Welcome to your game. It's a pleasure to be here. Shahid Khan but from Watford in Hertfordshire, yes. a self-employed music producer and studio engineer. Um, and I won £44,000. <laughs> and at the time I was delivering pizzas, so I could leave my job. And then I came back and I just said, you know, because I would think money buys you time. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily make you give you all the happiness straight away. So I had time to, to put it into something and, and you know, I spent time in that, sh that shed just making music for a couple of years. Time in the shed well spent. His pottering in there would lay the groundwork for a stratospheric rise in the music industry, leading to collaborations with... Bashi, Chipmunk, Emily Sanday, Sam Smith, um, Ella Eyre, uh, Rihanna, Susan Boyle, Tony Temper, about to go in with Mary J. Blige, and I'm working with One Direction, Zane, at the moment. I gave Prince Charles a copy of my album. We actually heard that he gave, he took the album home and he gave it to Harry, I think, or Harry must have said something like, oh, that's the coolest our CD you bought back or something. So that was nice. Oh. Hello, mommy. Mm -hmm. As well as being a naughty boy, he's also a mummy's boy. He says his family has shaped the person he is today. I'm not strict Muslim, but I understood, you know, and the power of prayer and the power of just being a good person and not stealing and things. So, you know, that, the, the, I had those values and I, had, you know, I get that from being a Muslim, but I don't, I didn't have that, um, uh, my mum and dad obviously still, you know, worry, you know, because it is the music business. But this producer is doing things differently in this business. In his videos, he deliberately avoids the sexualised images of women that are so prevalent elsewhere in the industry. I think it's partly insecurity. I think there'll always be that part of the music business where, you know, people believe sex sells and fundamentally it's a quick way to cash in but I think you can in this day and age settle things alongside it like you know um, a bit of soul <laughs> you know. Naughty Boy has struck up a close friendship with fellow British Pakistani Muslim Zayn Malik of One Direction. This week both of them entered the Israel Gaza debate calling on Twitter for a free Palestine. I'm just a supporter of peace from whichever side. When I met Zayn and we became friends and we both share like similar backgrounds he's Pakistani as well. It was just nice to just hear someone who's actually really talented and he can write, he can sing. Thank you very much for having us, Naughty Boy. Thank you for coming and um, thank you, Channel 4. Thank you, Naughty Boy.